Classic Rock, 103.5 The Fox. Good morning. It is 21 minutes away from 7 o'clock. And our first guest this morning from Denver Broncos training camp, the head coach of the Denver Broncos. He's already worked out, looking good. I just told him it looks like he could still play. And his answer was, uh, <laughs> hey, Eric, can you turn his mic on? Thanks. Hang on oh, a second. Are you on? Here, switch. Uh, hang on, we're working on it. There we go. We'll just switch with, with Kathy. And your answer, answer was, was? My answer was, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. <laughs> it only looks that way. Uh, I cannot play any longer. <laughs> Vance Joseph is, is with us. And uh, so you work out in the morning typically? Absolutely. Uh, 545. You know, that's, that, that's my time to work so what, out. So what, what did you get done today? Well, I did the Versa Climber. I can't run anymore. I have a, I have a bad left knee. So I do the Versa stair steps, just, just hard cardio stuff. I barely right. lift anymore. I left maybe once a week just for mindset. Right. But other than that, just more cardio and, and, and try to eat right. And that's the hard part. It's all diet, isn't it, guys? Yeah. Well, a lot of it is, right? Just, it's all diet. So I hate the Versa Climber. That's tough. That thing is nasty. It's full body, though. Yeah. You how know, long are you on that? Joints. Well, I do more uh, intervals. You know, okay. So I do it by feet. Yeah. 100 feet sets, 200 feet sets. Well, good for you. Hard that's as I can go and rest a minute yeah. and go hard again. That's why you look good still. Oh, well, shoot. I don't know about that. No more sprints? No, no more? No more sprints. I can't sprint anymore. No. Maybe next offseason. In, you know what? In your, in your mind, you can sprint. In my mind, in my I'm mind, going I really fast. Sprint too, right? <laughs> That's right. I see no. these guys out here. I'm thinking, okay, get, get off the line of scrimmage. Make mm -hmm. sure you get your hands on the def defensive. I'm, I can do it still in my mind. It's just my body can't do it anymore. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? In your dreams, too. Don't you have those it, dreams where you can really run? I think we all have those. Yeah, dreams. everybody yeah, will have them. You know, when you're a young guy, you're <laughs> scoring touchdowns and running fast That's and really right. fit. And that's yeah, man. That's a that's a great dream. It so, is a good dream. So how's the? Uh, how, how, I mean, this is your first camp as yeah. a head coach. Yeah. What what? How, how's it gone in the first few days? It's it's gone well, you know, and um, it's a motivated team, so it makes my job easy, man. These guys want to be good. They're working hard. They're listening to the you know, you know to our direction as far as effort and finishing and those things. So that makes it that makes it easy, you know. The the football mistakes. You, you kind of expect that, you know. It's it's a game of mistakes, but the effort and the finish and the uh, technique stuff, they're doing it for us. So that makes it easy for a coach. And I'm hearing the players say the same thing. Like they they love the energy. There's yeah. a really good energy to this camp, is what they're all saying. Absolutely, you know. Everything we're doing is by purpose. You know, the first couple of days were really short and crisp. You know, yesterday was a man's day. It was longer. So we're going to just you know build on it. You know, you know, keep adding different drills and. We got an off day tomorrow, and we'll, you know, tone it back again on Wednesday and build it back to the scrimmage on Saturday. So, the energy has been great. You know, everyone's engaged and having fun, and it's it's been productive. We we had you on last week, and and something you said struck me um, because normally, you know, you might not hear this from an NFL coach, but I thought it was refreshing, refreshing, and really honest. I asked you two or three things that you want to get accomplished in this camp by the time you leave, and you said. That's an easy question. I want, I want to find out up front, can we move people off the line of scrimmage? Right. And defensively, how are we going to stop the run? You talked about physicality in the camp. Absolutely. And it started yesterday. You know, our, our offense line, I've been so proud of those guys. Even without pads, you can, you can see the mentality changing. It's a, it's a tough group. Uh, defensive line, you know, adding Peco and adding Kerr and some size up front. You can see the stoutness, you know, happening in a run game. So those two areas for this football team is going to be critical. You know, we've got skill guys. We've got receivers. We've got DBs who can win one-on-ones. You know, our, our um, not issues, but our way to continue to be dominant on both sides is to be great inside, you know, in the front seven on defense and the old line on offense. You know, even our tight ends, mm. they are fighting, you know, fighting to be better blockers and to be better pass catchers. So I've been impressed with those guys uh, trying to be physical and trying to change the mindset of this football team. First couple of days of, of camp, you had uh, some key injuries already yeah. Yeah. with uh, Shane Ray and Devontae Booker. Uh, you expect both of those guys to be back by the start of the season, the regular season? Uh, not by the start, probably, but probably by week two or three, you know, with those two guys. And, you know, things do change. You know, I, you know I'm not sure. But, you know, in my opinion, guys, uh, you know, everyone has injuries. It, 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 it matters when it happened. You know, you can have them week nine, week 10, week 11. You know, or you can have them in training camp. But in my opinion, you know, we've, we've had them at the right time. You know, we can get those guys back for the majority of the season. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not in panic mode. You know, we have guys behind those guys who can do their jobs, and, uh, you know, they, they got to do them, you know. 
they're pro players. We pay them to do a job, so they're going to do their jobs. Everybody, obviously, talking about the quarterback situation. Yeah. You got after both of them a little bit a uh, day or so ago. Yeah. Didn't uh, They didn't play particularly well. Oh. Uh, and yet you didn't shy away from – I mean, th there are a lot of coaches that will shy away from criticizing that position, right? You didn't right. do that. No, 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 because that, that position, you know, we've told those guys is based on decision-making. And yesterday we made three or four – bad decisions, especially when you're in a scoring area. You know, when you're in a red zone and you throw a pick six for 95 yards and we've got three, that's a 10-point swing. We can't have that. You know, more games in this league are lost than won. You know, we've, you know, we've got a good defense. We've got good skill. So we need a guy behind the center who's going to not, not manage the game, guys, but not, not go out there and throw it away either. You know, I want, I want decision-making. I want the guys to be aggressive also. I want to score points. So I don't I don't want a conservative guy back there just holding the ball and not wanting to make mistakes. But, you know, we can't make the critical era that turns games. And that's what happened yesterday in practice, and that wasn't, that wasn't fun to see. How do you balance that uh, in terms of wanting a guy that will not make critical mistakes, especially in the red zone, and balancing that with a guy that will take a calculated risk right. with the ball from time right. to time? Well, they have to know, you know, where we are in the game or on the field. You know, you're in the red zone, you're on a five-yard line, and it's second down. Okay, be smart with the football. Okay, most defense are going to have a loaded box. They're going to invite you to throw it. So if we do throw it, we catch it or no one catches it. We get, you know, we've got third down to punch it in, okay, and we've got the fourth down to kick it. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, just knowing where we're on the field. Now, it's first and 10 and we're on a minus 35, okay, and we got a shot play call we worked all week. Let it go. You know, so I think it's, it's decision-making as for a situational football. You know, that's, that's part of the position. They've got to be a coach on the field, you know, and they can't, uh, they can't make critical error that turns games. Well, Coach, we appreciate you coming by and spending time with us here this morning. Absolutely. Uh, back in the day, uh, <laughs> Mike Shanahan would let us go have breakfast in the training room. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> wow. I, that's, know, it, that's, wow. That's Pat's call. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick, that's you know, Pat's you call. Remember, you yeah. probably remember that. That's Pat's department. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming by, man. Thanks it, for it's going to be guys. a fun year. Absolutely. All right, Coach, Coach right. Vance Joseph. Rick Lewis Show, 103.5 The Fox.